Hey guys, it's me, Manny B. I'm finally here to do a flip through of this reversible sequins rainbow journal that Trish Mason sent me a while ago from her giveaway. And this was a lot of fun to write in, so I really enjoyed working in it. And I'm kind of sad that it ended, but I was kind of relieved at the same time because I was getting kind of tired of the pattern I had going on in here. But it was still fun nonetheless, so let's open this up. This was journal number 28. Um, I made this heavily inspired by June Pride Month here in the States. I think it's July everywhere else, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and this is just some stuff from work. <laughs> and a fortune cookie fortune and just some stickers from when Kings Island had Grand Carnival going on. And I, had a, I have a friend who works in the entertainment department and she said it was just a mess behind the scenes. So... Yeah. Um, this was when I was roughly ending my job at the grocery store that I worked for because I was super depressed working there and it, they were all like, my coworkers were really rude, the customers were like even ruder and like it was, it was really really bad. Like I hated working there. I, I felt bad that I wasted almost an entire month there. Like I'll never get that month back out of my life. Like it was so bad. Um, just a lot of writing, red, orange, yellow, do you start to notice a pattern? Because I wanted to, every day for the month of June, I want it to be the color of the pride flag or the rainbow, whatever you want to interpret it as. It was a little bit challenging in some cases because some days I really didn't want to work with this color because I don't really have a lot of yellow items or a lot of orange in some cases so it was like I, I don't want to waste this color for Halloween or whatever but I want to stick with this so it, it, like I said it was a fun but also challenging challenge but um yeah, like, it, I was having a lot of problems, like, I was, this was my last official day there, so I was just done with that place. I was like, screw this place, I am never coming back into the store unless I need to shop for anything, but this is only my last resort, because, like, I only worked in, like, the one department, it was just a deli, but I was so mad, like, I was so unhappy there, because... Like I said, my coworkers were kind of standoffish. I mean, I tried to talk to them, but they really didn't want to talk to me. Um, I was there. W it was not busy enough for me because I'm used to working in a drive-through, so I am used to like always being on my feet, hustling and doing whatever, and like always having something to do. But when I was there. Like, it was really not that busy, and plus, like, it wasn't that much to do, even if I had stuff to do. So, like, I could, and a lot of things were time-based, so, like, I had to bake chickens, shred chickens, um, uh, do this and that and, like, something else, but a lot of the stuff was, like, okay, I pop the chickens in the oven, so, now I gotta wait, what, 40, like, 30 minutes, so... What do I do to kill 30 minutes until a customer arrives? So it, it was awful. It was so bad. Like, I'd be washing the dishes in the back of the little area that we had, and I'd just start, like, zoning out so bad. Like, I'd almost drop my dish, and I'm like, oh, crap, I'm still working. Because, like, I'm so poor, and, like, all I have are my thoughts to keep me occupied. Like, it was, it was bad. I think I actually, like, I noticed that I was getting really upset with that job because I was eating more junk than I should have because when I get depressed I comfort eat so it it's not a good thing at all to to have uh, it's not a good coping mechanism for the most part by any means but you know in some cases it's okay like if you're like oh you're having a slightly bad day and then you just have like one of your favorite foods to cheer you up and that and it works for you that's fine as long as you eat it in moderation but I was eating like five bags of animal crackers a week like I was so depressed like I was so upset and then my mom was even like 
you know, you should probably just quit this job and go back to Frisch's. And I'm like, what makes you say that? And she's like, you're not happy. Like, you're depressed. Like, you're, you're not having fun. Like, you never have anything to talk about after work. You just want to go home and forget about today. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. But, like, I didn't want to go back to my old job because I'm just like, what if they're all mad at me? Or what if they, uh, like, what if they don't want to work with me that well? Or anything like that. And, I mean, I was wrong about that part. But it just felt kind of awkward because, like, I left you guys for a month because of, you know, a pretty valid reason. But, yeah. So, anyway, long story short, I'm back at my new job and all that. Or back at my old job and it's it's great. Um, so yeah, this day we went to go visit my cousin and his family in there in Tennessee and it was a lot of fun because we went for one of my cousin's birthdays and his sister helped me decorate the pages a little bit and then they both had their fair share in helping decorate this page. Uh, I think they're both like they're four, like the eldest is four, the youngest, or no, the eldest is five, the youngest is four, so they're really sweet kids, like they're so cute. Um, just talking about the getaway and stuff that we had, I know this is really hard to read, I did not anticipate that pen to be so bright until it was like too late. Um... So I was going to come in this day to come back to my old job to just pick up a quick shift, like a swing shift so I can discuss stuff, and I went in there <laughs> and it was closed because of a water main break or they didn't have water running, so, you know, for uh, sanitation reasons, we had to stay closed, or we had to close that day if it, the water was off for more than 10 minutes or 5 or 10 minutes, so, not fun. Um, a lot of stuff about, you know, just getting back into work. Oh, and this is when I went to go visit Kings Island, and it was during, like, one of the first few days of the carnival, and it was a bit rainy, and they didn't, like, the parade itself, they didn't have their, like, all their costumes on, because I went and saw it, like, three or four times, and... The first time I saw it, they did not have, like, their elaborate costumes. They just had, like, their kind of basic uniforms, which was fine. And this was part of a stream. All of this is the same streamer. All this gold is the same streamer. I still have more of this laying around because these streamers were the longest things. Like, I thought I was, I think I'm never going to get rid of it. Um, oh, and this day I was talking about uh, my friend and how we were discussing... Uh, my Hero Academia season four coming out in October, and I was geeking out because one of my characters in the manga that I really like is gonna be in it, and I I am I'm ready I'm ready for it, but I'm not ready for it because I've read um, I read a good majority of that arc in season four, and I I'm gonna cry so much I'm gonna cry I'm gonna laugh I'm gonna laugh through my tears it's gonna be horrible. lots of writing and then this day I went to go see Toy Story 4 with my family and it was really really good I I love Toy Story it's a really good movie series it's not my favorite movie series in Pixar but it's definitely one of my favorites old bees and green triangles I tried to make it like gradient fade but it didn't work out well so um, I did, I tried to mimic like an 80s pattern kind of thing with these, but didn't turn out too good, but I like it somewhat. Uh, just some more talking about work, and this was, um, I think this was the day, I think I just wrote it down wrong, but this was the day that, um, same-sex marriage was legal in all 50 states a few years ago, and I was writing like that to commemorate it. All the rainbows and colors. Uh, just more writing about work and stuff. 
I really love how these pages turned out, like the green uh, metallic pen and the like holographic green tape and this light green like like uh, slash tape. It's you know cut out, and then I love how I doodled all the stars and planets and stuff. I really like that. It kind of gave me like a um, journal CEO vibe to it. And I tried to do more artsy stuff and just make like an aquatic theme. But I didn't really like how this turned out, except for like the sand and the seaweed, so that was all that I had going for me. This was the end of the month of June, and uh, I am asexual, so I wanted to just make all the lines kind of like the asexual flag and stuff, and I thought this was really, really cool. And then it was July, and I was really debating on whether I wanted to keep the trend going of the colors for the month, like the colors for each day. I kind of did, but I was super tired of that pattern at this point, but I, I worked with it well enough, I think. Um, it's been a while, so... I think this is when I really roughly started to work on my Mareep cosplay that I have pictures of on Instagram. Yeah, this is when I really started working on uh, all the stuff for my Mareep cosplay, which is, it's still working out really well. I'm really excited with its turnout. I cannot wait to see it finished. talking about oh I was talking about how I was looking forward to having a plastic surgeon meetup or a consult with a plastic surgeon but I was super nervous about it and yeah just all the stuff all of this stuff um, like I said I really don't remember too much about what happened in this journal because I was it was a lot, so it wasn't a lot, a lot, but it was, I, I guess it was just the same sort of stuff. I was really ranting about a coworker, and you'll hear a lot more about them in my next journal, that's for certain. Um... just uh, oh I started watching One Punch Man this day and I it's so funny it's so good I really recommend One Punch Man if you like um, kind of like comedy but serious but laid-back animes I don't really know how else to explain it but without spoilers but it's funny I, I cracked up a lot of the times I'm just like why is Saitama a mood constantly like he is he's what I aspire to be <laughs> Um, just lots of, uh, lots of washi tape and some stickers and stuff. I really need to get back into using my stickers, so. Oh wait, I remember what happened this day. Um, I was, I think I hanged out with my friend. Yeah, I, I hanged out with my friend and I, no, 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 wait. Uh, oh no, I did not hang out with my friend today. Um, see, I, I thought I did it. I did something the day after this, but I didn't get to actually write it down because I was busy with a funeral and stuff at the end of this month. Uh, again, sorry if I'm not really talkative or anything. I just... I forgot a lot about what happened in this journal because it's been so long. Um, I did not fill out a lot of pages toward the end, but like I said, I was just tired of this pattern constantly going on, and especially because the last day of the month I was at a funeral for my great uncle, so it was, it was, uh, it was kind of bittersweet. I wasn't really close with him or anything, but 
it was a lot that day, so. And then I have like my ink test and some washi scraps. Like this tape was giving me a very hard time at some points, like it kept shredding on me. And then my, the four-year-old cousin helped me spell out my name in the back. I got this sticker from work ages ago, like when I roughly first started, and I just had to slap it in here because I knew I wanted to put this in here. And more stuff. I really didn't put anything in here except for like a couple of candy wrappers and a a, a business card for a um, chest binder that I got for cosplay purposes and for to combat body dysmorphia. So it's a it's a mix of reasons for why I got it, but mostly for the um, mostly for cosplay, partially for the. Uh, mostly for cosplay and somewhat for body dysmorphia so yeah that is the flip through of my trying to do this upside down essentially of my lovely rainbow pride month journal I like how that kind of makes like the rainbow effect that's definitely an aesthetic right there that's got to be in someone's or someone's aesthetic boards <laughs> Um, uh, my next journal, I will try to, I will try my best, I will try my very best to get a flip through of the first half of it, or the first month into it, up relatively soon. I'm gonna try and also maybe do the, uh, summer journaling tag by Melly Rose, but I, I feel like it's kind of too late to do it for me. But we shall see. Again, I'm so sorry for being very inactive. It's just I've been busy, I've been tired, I've been busy and tired, or I get distracted or something. So yeah, I but uh But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed all this. I can I can I do this? I wanna try this. This is the one thing I love slash somewhat dislike about this journal that I get. I can do all this stupid stuff with it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye!